Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I've got a review for you and I'm super excited for this one. I haven't seen it yet. I know what it is and I know who it's from, but I haven't seen it. So this will be the first time seeing it as is with you guys. So I'm looking forward to it. Can anyone guess what it is? So it's from Carpod Go. I'm super excited to try this out. Let's open it up, take a look. So essentially what we have here guys is a 2024 fully laminated screen CarPod Go T3 Pro portable 60 frames per second wireless CarPlay Android Auto 8.9 inch screen 1920 by 720p IPS touch screen car stereo display Bluetooth modes and supports steering wheel controls. It's the only 60 frames per second wireless CarPlay portable screen on the market. It provides an ultra smooth user experience with fast operation, response and no lag. Can you see why I'm excited now guys? That is beautiful. Before we go any further, I just have to say the unboxing experience was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, very nice the boxing is. Um, call me sad for saying that, but packaging is very very nice of course we've got the carpod go itself there um and then we've got all the bits and bobs in the box to mount it and of course this bit to power it that end obviously goes into the uh, device itself and that bit into your cigarette lighter of your car also what i find amazing about this is you actually get a i believe is a reversing camera so that's pretty cool, eh? Just looking at the side of the device here, you've got USB, you've got a microphone, you've got a camera in, um, you've got your AUX, you've got your USB power. Of course, this is ideal if you've got an older car like me that doesn't have um, the up-to-date CarPlay systems that are built in with it. This is going to make your life a lot better. Right, we're going to hop into the car and install it. My car's a bit of a funny shape, so I can't really mount it up here because it'll be in the view of the windscreen so i could put it around here so i think that's where i'm going to mount it so let's start although you can install this to your windscreen so i could actually put it around this area so you'll have to bear with me because it's the first time doing this like i said first time seeing it and all that so um yeah i'm figuring it out myself along with you guys but this thing actually extends as well and then, of course, if we unscrew this, you can, you know, put this in any angle that you want. And then, of course, just tighten it up when you're done. Same as with that. So I've just attached this bit, um, and I'm going to play with, play about with where I want to mount it first before I actually stick it down. Also, I've just realised on the back of this, it's magnetic. So I've been playing about. And I found that's the way I want mine mounted. I think that's fine because it's not obstructing this. And of course, you've got a built-in sat nav on this, but you can use apps and things on here for that. So I'm not bothered about that being covered. So for the purpose of the video right now, that's where I'm going to install it. Forgot to mention, you also get this uh, OTG cable. Anyhow, I'm happy with where that's positioned for now. So we're going to plug her in this usb port on this is very handy too so you can charge your phone with your cable or any of the devices you've got you've got an on off switch here turn the ignition on and we've got power and we can peel that off look at that that is a i know it's sunny guys so you have to bear with me but that looks a beautiful screen. So then we've got all the different settings. Radio, it tells you how to set all that up. Let me just have a quick look through the menus because I don't know myself. Um, turn Bluetooth and Wi-Fi of your phone to connect Bluetooth. Um, obviously that would be like maps, I think. What we've got here. Oh, there's lots of little gadgets that I like to play with. Setting time, volume, audio, Bluetooth display. Oh, look, choose a logo. 
Oh, so that's good. I can even choose my own car logo if it's on here. There's mine. So we're going to set that first. <laughs> There we go. According to the instruction booklet, number one is CarPlay. Number two is Android Auto. Three is Bluetooth. Four is Brightness Settings. Five is Settings. Six is Feature Introduction. Seven, FM Transmitter. And eight is Pure Display Bluetooth Mode. When he displays content, sound is retained on the phone. The phone can connect to external Bluetooth for sound playback. When turned off, speaker plays the sound. So now, we have to go and set the Bluetooth up on my phone. So I'm just going to go do that now, but you can pause the video here if you want to read that. So there we are, guys. We're connected, as you can see. Um, straight into Maps here, and it shows you your phone's battery, as you can see, mine needs charging. You've got your music, messages. Let's see how responsive this is. So if we click that, there you go. This is uh, all your apps. Uh, you've even got YouTube on there, WhatsApp, Telegram. Um, so if we press music. Oh, so when I press play, the sound is coming out of my phone, but I can connect the car's Bluetooth to this. So I'm gonna do that now. I finally got it connected. So it's coming out the car speakers. I can't show you because every time I record, obviously the camera comes on the phone, the music stops playing on here. So we're all set up. As I said, you've got your apps. So obviously you can make and receive phone calls, maps. Like I said, you've got your messages. Oh, I've got four. Music, you, I've got Google Maps on there, Apple Maps. Yeah, you, if you know how CarPlay works, then you know. Um, like I said, I'm new to this, so I'm just working everything out, but you've got a settings menu. You can change things like your wallpaper. You can use Siri, um, oh, always dark. <laughs> I always put that on things. Uh, you can get it to announce messages, show album art when you're playing your music. Um, yeah, there's loads to do on it, guys. Absolutely loads. It's definitely worth it. Like I said, if this is your sort of thing and you've got an older car, like I have, it is going to make things so much better, so much easier. And it's going to make your older car feel that bit more modern. Let's change the old wallpaper here, what we got. Oh, well, that's nice. We'll set it as that. You've got car play settings. Uh, right drive. Mode. 60 frames per second as I said and then you've got a 10 second timeout return to CarPlay you've got your brightness your logo which I've already set on mine as Renault um, you've got your Bluetooth settings display as I said volume output video so you've got your dual BT your FM your aux or your speaker you go to about you've got system update um, it's saying it's failed. I assume that would have to be connected to your computer or home Wi-Fi to update. And obviously here you can also factory reset it if you want to start over. But honestly, guys, this is absolutely brilliant. You've got your language. Um, one thing I do want to change, though, is the time. Um, I want to put it in 24 hour. There we go. And that's changed to that. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Is this something that you would like? Honestly, it's something I'll definitely be keeping. And I, yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. This has only got about five to seven seconds start up as well. So it's quick. It's, uh, it's smooth, quite smooth, yeah. As we said, 60 frames a second. So that's brilliant. And remember, if you've got steering wheel controls, um, it keeps the functionality of that. So if you watch the screen, I'll change the song. And there you go. All by me changing it on there. So if this is something you're interested in, guys, I highly recommend you go check it out. Link will be in the description below. Go check out the website. Now, if you can work a phone and a tablet, you can work this out. Once you get it connected, it's pretty straightforward. It just works like, like I said, a tablet and a phone, really. Touch 
and go what you want on and like i said it's going to make an older car feel a bit more modern which it definitely has in this car and it's definitely going to make my life a lot better um i'm going to see if there's any other apps and things that you can install um maybe the kids will be able to watch a movie on it i don't know <laughs> uh but don't watch a movie while you're driving or anything like that but honestly absolutely brilliant the box and everything is premium um, remember the screen is fluid it's 60 frames um, yeah it's quite fast it, it only takes five to seven seconds to start up so absolutely brilliant guys go check it out one more thing as it's portable and you don't want to leave it in the car pick it up and take it in with you